You're on True and welcome to another exciting day in our galaxy. And welcome to another video where I <laughs> literally took the bullet for you and spent a lot of money to show you a new piece in the game so that you can decide if it's worth the money for you or not. But before I talk about the Kirshara and if it's really doing what it's supposed to do, I just want to say, especially in this moment, that there's usually a pinned comment under the videos I put there as soon as I can after publishing the video. And there you find information about subscribing, commenting, how to join my Discord server, but also how to support my channel. And in this case, I spent another 100 euros on this one. Uh, just saying. So <laughs> every little support will help in, in occasions like this. Nevertheless, let's talk about the Kirshara. It's another artifact. It's an epic artifact. And it's one that indeed at the moment you can only buy. And they even put it twice in the shop. And I will tell you why in a moment. With the Kirshara, they bring in something new into the game that wasn't there before. So we definitely can talk about the quality of a quantity part again here, because it's another uh, thing that will, will strain the service a bit. And uh, that's why I put it in, the, in on the thumbnail with, with is it worth it? Because the Kirshara allows attacks on hostiles to be cute. And uh, with upgrading it, then you can increase the number of attacks that you can queue. It, it's all very theoretical, but that was the reason why I bought it, so I can show you on a ship in a moment. At level one, which I have with buying, you can get level one. And uh, then if you buy a second one, you I think you can get to level two or three, depending on, on how expensive level three will be with level, you get another 80 shards with that. But that would be another 100 euros. And I didn't do that. I just did the one to show it to you. And in the end, at level uh, 12, which is the max level for these artifacts, you can queue 24 attacks. In the announcement that came uh, during the day before they, they put it in the store, they said it is to make your grinding easier, to make your waves easier. On the grinding, if there's no other players around, they might be right. But about the waves, um, I will talk in a second as well, because I, I tested it a lot last night. But first of all, I want to show you how it works. I sent one of my ships to Zindi space because I have to, to grind there at the moment anyway. And just look for the battleships I usually hunt. So the first one, it shows attack. And then we look for another one. And it says Q attack. And then a symbol appears next to the ship. Then we look for another one. We Q that too. And you see I have the numbers two of three there because I can Q three of those. And now it's, it's full with um, what I have. And then my ship just flew to the first one I queued after it attacked the original one. And there it already goes to the second one. And after this attack, it will go to the third one that was marked here. As you can see, it does it on its own. And uh, of course, in between you could queue more, but that sometimes already made issues for me yesterday if I did add more hostiles while it was going for others. Um, I picked this system here to show that it is um, working as it's supposed to be in an environment that is not too crowded with, first of all, hostiles and with, um, with uh, other players. As you can see in this environment, it does what it's supposed to do. It, it goes to the next hostile. It will hopefully go to the other two then. And so you, when you upgrade it, which is uh, at the moment, as I said, only possible with paying, then um, you can put more ships into those queues. And 
today at least it's going to the ones in the in this uh, order that I queued those. That was different last night because when I tested it in the first place, um, it always changed direction if another one on the queue was closer. It took the closest one, but deleted all the others from the queue. So that didn't happen uh, so far yet. But the queue is full, so I cannot try with doing that. But we do this one now. And uh, we'll see if, if he still does the right sorting, then they have worked. Um, yeah, they must have worked on it overnight because yesterday it was a, a real catastrophe with um, doing that. But at the moment, it looks much better than it did last night because it changed course and with changing course because it targeted the closest one. And that was what they um, had in their announcement that they said it will um, go the most logic way um, w with the targets in your queue. And um, I guess they meant it will always take the closest first and then go to the next and so on. And that didn't work at all yesterday. Now at least it's attacking in the um, order that I queued them. And they might have changed that yesterday to took they took out that uh, sorting stuff and uh, just left in the queuing stuff. That's a possibility because if I would have made this video yesterday, I would have said it's an absolute catastrophe because nothing worked yesterday. What we still have are, are stuck ships now, um, which is not working that well. And when you attack a ship, Okay, my ship was destroyed. <laughs> that doesn't work that well either because I took uh, the normal ones I'm hunting and not uh, a smaller one. Let's just go to a smaller one in a second. It was deleting a lot of ships yesterday. It was from the queue when, because when, whenever it took a closer one first, that was kind of the second or third in the, in the order that I queued them. The other two that it skipped were completely skipped. So they were even taken out of the queue. And uh, that was a complete nightmare yesterday. And that was also um, a nightmare in the waves. If you have a lot of hostiles and you want to click stuff, if you click an enemy while um, your ship is on the way to one, and if you haven't clicked Q before it arrives at the other ship, the whole box disappeared again. And uh, so my waves yesterday were much harder because of the Kyoshara than they've been before, because I had to click hostile several times. I had to uh, wait longer to click the next hostile because the, the boxes disappeared and so on. And um, it, it was no fun. Today, when I'm filming this, it looks much better. At least, the as I said, the, the sorting thing um, is good. There, I queue the next one, and I queue the next one, and I queue the next one. And in my case, always three, because um, it's, it's um, the limit that I have at the moment. If I upgrade it once more, it's four. If I upgrade once more, it's five. And it will be 24 at... Uh, level 12, as I said. And so it's hunting ships for me. When you have level 12, which is probably an expensive thing if, if it's even doable, because um, the, the things in the shop do have a limit. Um, there's the um, Kishara artifact upgrade launch special. It says now Q tier two to eight. So they probably will not um, limit this one because it says two to eight um, and it will run for 364 days. So for a year now, um, they probably will only have it in the shop for buying. 
so that if ever you want to upgrade one level, you have to pay another 100 euros, 100 pounds, 100 dollars, whatever, um, to upgrade it more. Because um, this, the 87 shards will not be enough to go to tier 8 from, from where I am at the moment. So uh, you will have to buy this a uh, couple of times. I don't know how expensive they will be for upgrading in the end, but um, this will not be enough to go to level 8 because for the next one I need 39. And uh, I cannot imagine that with the, with the other with the remaining shards that you can go to level 8 then that they get so cheap and uh, I need 39 because I've got the Eye of Error and uh, it will demand a lot of purchasing I'm, I'm quite sure and it's only 2 to 8 you have to go to 12 um, to get the 24 queues so that will not be that cheap but of course, when you have the 24, you can, and it's working. It seems to be working today, and it seems different than, than yesterday. I, I'm, I'm really honest. Then um, if you can just queue 24 targets here and uh, go to another grind or do something else in the game, then it's definitely not the, the worst thing to do. And... Um, I'm not a big fan of the Kirshara at the moment, uh, especially with just uh, three. I can, I, um, I can, um, what is the English word for that one? Just for the three, I can queue. I didn't want to say, I want to say program or something. Um, then it's not as a big help as I would like it to be because it's, it's, it's not saving me time. I still have to stay in the system and uh, have to continue. But at least while my ship is flying, I can already search and don't have to, to take care if it's um, already attacking or shouldn't do be. And then just fill up the queue until my ship is destroyed or I reach the limit of uh, hostiles I wanted to destroy. It's definitely more helpful at level 12 when you can really program uh, the next 24 hostiles then you can do something else in the game it's not that helpful on on uh, level one or tier one and so um, it's a decision everybody will have to to make themselves as i said as long as it's working like here in the zindi grind it's a good thing but um and i have to be honest about this yesterday if some of the hostiles disappeared because you know that hostiles sometimes just fly to the endpoint and disappear from 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 the system. Um, then it deleted all the program targets. If another player destroyed one of my targets, the whole list was gone. We have to keep an eye on it if if that de develops somehow. And um, I chose a system which is not that crowded today to to show you at least how it's supposed to work but yesterday in the Gorn system it was just a catastrophe if I, I, I programmed or queued some some hostiles one of them was destroyed by another player and my whole queue was gone so if I would have uh, been able to queue 24 of those and just one is gone in between and the other 23 disappear that's not how I, how I would like that to be but I have to um, as I always say, I want to give you the the honest view on everything here. The way it's 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 working at the moment under these conditions here in in Zindi space with a few hostiles that didn't disappear, although I destroyed them. That's an old bug coming back. Um, it still is doing what's promised, and you have to decide or not completely because I just queued him and it didn't work. That was something that I had yesterday as well. I clicked queue and still they, they didn't queue because it was in the wrong moment of the attack um, circle of the ship. So that that's sometimes annoying, but it's in general, at least here in the demonstration I'm doing today, doing what it's what they promised to do ex except the logic part and I think that could be the reason why it's working um, that this logic part yesterday was was killing the queue all the time 
and today it's not because the the queue so far worked very very well here in Zindi space and yesterday it, the ship changed direction and uh, went to the third target first before going to the first one and uh, that probably was the issue why it went that badly yesterday but it doesn't do it today as you can see it always goes on the targets in order that I programmed them and not um, so far with targets that are closer than others and I hope that this will stay this way where we can test it by by just picking a closer target where it's going then no he's going to the more distant target that was different yesterday and so um, it's it's working quite fine today um, and so I have to honestly have to say I made my experiences last night. I will have to do more wave tests now after um, it's working better today in system. But as I said, you will have to decide if it's worth the money to do that. I'm not a big fan because I'm definitely not going to spend, uh, I don't know, a thousand euros or whatever, which I need in the end to upgrade to level 12. Um, that's not worth it for me. And um, it's, a little gimmick but for the money I spent I got far too little with just three queuable um, hostiles so knowing that I, I wouldn't buy it again but of course as I said I bought it immediately when I saw that that it came in and uh, I knew what it was supposed to do from the from the announcements in the beginning of the arc and uh, so I knew that I would have to make a video on this one for you so that you can decide if you want the Kiyoshara or not. Might be a very nice gimmick for some people. Uh, some people are spending a lot of money on this game. For them it might be um, quite doable to spend a lot of money to get this to tier 12. Where it, At tier 12 that thing will make sense if it works properly. Um, but that's a, really a matter of your credit card. If you can go to tier 12 or at least close to that and uh, being able to queue a lot of hostiles, then it really makes sense. But it's nothing I can afford. I can tell you that one. Nevertheless, I wanted to show you that um, and uh, I wanted to give you the chance to make your decision based on seeing what it does and uh, giving you my experiences. But I'm honest, yesterday it was really bad. Today it is working much better. And uh, so I have to be fair to tell you that it's working, at least today, it's working the way it's supposed to do it, except the logic part, which I'm quite happy about. It was a nice idea, but you need a lot of artificial intelligence power to really make that w work properly. I'm quite sure about this and not just a little programming because of the logic part yesterday. I lost a lot of cute hostiles. Nevertheless, I definitely would like to know your opinion about this, especially if one or the other has already bought it. Um, and of course, from the others, after seeing what it does now live, what do you think? Are you looking to get it? There's no place at the moment in the game where you can get it without buying it in the shop and you saw that they put uh, a one year um, <laughs> limit on the on the um, upgrade one I don't know what they did with the limit for the for the first purchase one now because I didn't see the one year yesterday and uh, so let me know what you think but still as in every video as um, if you have questions in general or video requests you know that I regularly read your comments and you realize I skipped the officer video tonight because I thought this was ex important to make a video on this one immediately but tomorrow evening you will probably have a vid uh, officer video again but if you want to see another video right now the next one is right here in the end screen I'll see you there I'll be back